good morning, sir. Welcome to Morning Glory Supermarket. Can I help you? Yes. Is this register open? A uh, yes and no. Uh, my register is down. Oh, uh, man. oh no, no, no! But I can help you. I can help you. I'm really good at math. It's really quite simple. All right, because I have somewhere to have to be. Okay. All right. This is gonna be really, really, really quick. All right. Well, let's see what it is that you have. All right. What's the first item? I have milk. Okay. How many of these milks do you have? I have three. Okay, now, since you have three of these and they each cost $1.79, we're going to multiply times three. Okay, and it's okay. really simple. Now, because we're working with money, we're going to make sure to keep track of that decimal point. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down right, well, here. You know what? Let's just multiply first. All right, three times nine is 27. Now, sir, we can't put two d digits in there, so I'm going to put the seven right here, okay. and I'm going to put my two right here in the tens place. All right. And I keep on multiplying. Uh, 3 times 7 is 21, and plus the 2 I put up here is 23. Yeah. All right, so I put my 3 right here and my 2 up here. Okay. And next I multiply in the hundreds place. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Now, because we're working with money and we know there's two digits behind the decimal point, I put my decimal point right here. Okay, so the subtotal for your milk is $5.37. I'm going to put that right here. Okay, sir? Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what's the next thing that you have? I have peanut butter. Peanut butter. How many do you have? I have two of those. Okay, two. All right. So we're, the peanut butter is three dollars and fifty six fifty six. I'm sorry, I can't speak. But three dollars and fifty six cents okay. each. Right. And because you have two of them, we're going to multiply times two. Okay. All right. So first step is we multiply in the ones place. Two times six is twelve. Twelve. Very good. All right. My two. I'm going to bring my one up here. Okay, we'll kind of have to just ignore that for right now. And then two times five is ten. Ten plus the one gives us eleven. Very good. So we write our one and put the one up here. And then next I multiply two times three, it's which is six. Right, plus one more. It's seven. It's seven. And again, because we're dealing with money, we have to put the decimal point, put the decimal point in there. Very good. So you're spending seven dollars and twelve cents on peanut butter. Oh wow. That's I know. I know that. I think you got the real expensive brand. I don't know. But that's okay. You like what you like. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's the next thing in your cart? I have jelly. Oh, you got two of them. I got two of them. Ooh, yummy, yummy. All right. So but since there's two of them, we're going to multiply $1.89 times two. Okay. Now, do you remember what the first thing is that we do? Yes. We got to multiply the two times the nine, which is in the ones place. Very good. Oh, see, you're catching on. Yeah, that's 18. I write the eight, and I bring the one right here. Okay, what's the next thing that I do? Now we got to go to 2 times 8. I think that's the tens place. Yeah, uh -huh. right. and 2 times 8 is? 16. Plus one more is? It's 17. Yeah, so I'll write my 7, bring the 1 up here, and then what's next? Next is we got to multiply the 2 times the 1. Yep, yeah. and 2 times 1 is 2, plus, plus 1? Is 3. Yeah, good All job. Right. All right, oh, you did much better on the jelly. All, <laughs> All right. right, so that's going to be $3.78. and for the jelly. All right, what's the next thing in your basket? I have bread. I have three things of bread. Oh, good job. But this is whole wheat bread. Good for you. All right, the bread is $2.35 a loaf, and you got three of them, so we're going to multiply times three. This is three sets. Okay. All right, first thing you do. We're going to multiply three times five. Right, and that is? In our ones place, which makes it 15. Yeah, 15. All right, so I write my five. Here's my one. All right, and then the next step is? Uh, three times three. Which is? Nine. Plus one. Plus one makes it ten. Yeah. So I'll write my zero right here and bring the one. All right. All right. What's the next thing? Three times two is six. Plus, plus one. one is seven. Look at this. You're multiplying like a pro. And again, because it's money, we have to remember our decimal point to represent the change. All right. So seven dollars and five cents for your bread. And then anything else in your cart I can help you with yes, today? I have chips. That's the last thing I have. Okay, two things of chips. Yes. All right, so what's the first thing that we do? We're going to multiply our chips. Two times five is mm -hmm. ten. Is ten. Here's my zero. I'll bring the one up here. And then we two times five. Five again is ten plus the one makes it eleven. Yeah. All right. Bring that one up here. And then what's next? Two times two, which it, is four, plus the one makes it five. Very good. All right, so that's five dollars and ten cents. Now we went ahead and we multiplied how much each of these items are, and so each of these is the subtotal. Subtotal. We want to know how much everything's going to cost, so we're going to go ahead and multiply everything together. All right, so starting in the ones place, I like to make it easy, so I'm going to start collecting groups of ten. So I have two plus eight, that's ten. Uh, ten plus five is fifteen. 
uh, 15 plus 7 is 22. So I'll write my 2 right here. I'll bring this 2 up. All right. Again, I like to make groups of 10. So um, 3 plus 7 is 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. So I bring my 4 here. 1 up here. Uh, groups of 10. I like groups of 10. Um, 7 and 3 is 10. Ooh, 5 and 5 is 10. So I have 20, uh, 27, 28. All right. Now, i got to be careful to just drop my decimal point because, again, this is money. And it looks like, sir, your uh, total is $28.42. But you know what? Um, so let me just use my calculator to make sure that all these numbers are right. Uh, let's see. $5. What? what? You had a calculator? Well, yeah, but you got to understand, I'm really a third grade teacher, and I haven't seen my students in such a long time, and, and I saw the opportunity to, you know, to go through a lesson, and so I'm sorry.